Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Ter today we're going to discuss uh, further into integration by parts and now go over an example, basically example one of the example series. And it states, find the integral of x sine x uh, dx right here. So now this is a pretty complex integral, so to do this uh, we would use integration by parts because then the first step to notice that is uh, remember like I stated in my earlier video integration by parts corresponds to uh, the product rule for derivatives and as you can see this is this is a product of two functions so you could use integration by parts now as you recall from my earlier video integration by parts formula it's gonna look something like this integral of f of x uh, times it by g of x dx I mean g prime of x, so f of x times g prime of x equals to f of x g of x minus the integral now from g of x now and then the derivative of f of x dx. So you have a derivative of g of x and then it switches on the other side with the f of x right there. And now the idea is selecting f of x and g uh, prime of x such that we get basically a simpler integral. So uh, we have to select between x and sine x. So in this case we're going to be taking the derivative uh, on the right side of f so we want it to be simpler and I that's why we would choose x and the reason for that is the derivative is going to be well equal to 1. So we want to simplify the f of x uh, or the derivative of f of x. So now we, uh, because we selected this, the g prime of x is going to be equal to sine of x. And this is why, this is, we could just plug this right in here. And now, now when we selected this, we also have to make sure that we can take the integral of this. So the integral of sine of x, that is equal to negative cosine of x. Yeah, and you can double check uh, here the derivative of uh, cosine is negative sine of x and that cancels you get that so now we can just plug in these uh, known uh, basically plug in these functions so we get x sine x which is f of x times g prime of x which is over here dx equals to now x times negative cos of x, that's f of x times g of x, minus, now this is g of x, cos x, times by f prime of x, which is 1, so this times by dx right there. So now we could begin solving this integral. So this will be negative x cos x. Now the negative sign gets out of there, so we can just add a plus, and an integral of cos of x, that is just, yeah, that's just sine of x. So we get negative x cos of x plus sine of x. Yeah, and this is our answer. Actually, yeah, we forgot to add a constant. Whenever we have an integral, a, an indefinite integral, it's always add a constant there. So that's the answer. We can double check by differentiating. So yeah, just write that down. We can double check, just quickly do it just to make sure that it's it's exactly right so we derivative of this answer because the integral is always the antiderivative so this should be the exact same uh, so yeah so this should be the exact same as the integral we started so this equals two so now this is uh, we have to apply the product rule on this case derivative of negative x that is just uh, or I'll just take the negative out derivative of x is just is 1 so we just add the cos x and then plus derivative yeah, plus x and then the derivative of cos of x that is negative sine of x and now we add the derivative of sine of x which is cos of x and derivative of, of c that's a constant that's just 0 so this equals 2 negative cos of x put the negative inside this becomes positive here, x sine of x uh, plus cos of x, which is over here. And that, so then the cosines cancel, and we're left with x sine x. So we've proven that the answer is uh, correct. 
Yeah, because this is exactly what we started off with. And now I'm gonna basically solve this exact same uh, uh, problem, but using, well, basically finding the solution using the second formula I covered in my last video, which uses the substitution rule. And that basically has the formula u dv, and this is just an easier one to memorize. Now you have uv minus uh, v du. And the reason I want to cover this one is because this is easier to do. It's just much simpler. You can just write u and v. And so in this case, u will be uh, x. So du is going to equal to dx. So we're dealing with differentials in this case or just differentials notation. So you have this dx right here. If you move this to the left side, that's just du over dx equals one, or the derivative equals one. So it's the same thing as we're doing above, but just uh, less writing. And now the dv, this would equal to our sine of x, and then the integral um, sine of x dx. Now the integral is gonna equal to uh, negative cosine of x. And now we will just plug this in exactly like uh, before. So this would be x, and now dv is going to be sine x dx. So this one right here is our u. This is our dv. This equals 2x, now uh, negative cos of x. So there's our u, and there's our uh, v minus integral from, you know, so the integral of our v which is negative cos x that's our v and now our dx right here i mean du actually no this is yeah, dx and this is our du so that's the corresponds to this and this right here and now this will get the same exact answer we'll get x and negative x cos x plus sine yeah plus sine of x plus c but, and yeah, so it's the exact same thing. I just wanted to go over this one because I'll be doing examples later on using this formula because it's just easier to do. <laughs> okay. And now an important note on uh, basically uh, integration by parts is our aim is using, yeah, and using this integration by parts is to obtain a simpler integral than the one we started off with. For example, we started off with x sine of x and then we broke it down to dealing with an integral of this uh, of of cos of x dx which is easier to solve yeah but let's say we didn't choose uh, u to be x and instead we had chosen yeah but if we had chosen uh, right here u equals to sine of x so if we chose this instead of x we'll have now du is equal to this is going to be cos x dx, and our dv would be x. So the v is going to be integral of this, which is x squared over 2. So everything's just becoming more complicated. So our u dv is going to be sine, yeah, and then dv is right here. So x dx equals 2. So now our u is going to be sine of x times it by our v, which is x squared over two. So now we subtract integral from, and now we have uh, v, which is x squared over two, times it by du, which is cos x dx. And as you can see, we have basically ended up with a more difficult integral in terms of x squared over two times by cos x dx because before we were just dealing with x now we're dealing with a square of x which is pretty hard to do when you combine it with the uh, trigonomic function of cos yeah so thus in general basically when deciding on a choice for u and dv we usually try to choose u equals fx to be a function that becomes simpler when differentiated or at least not more complicated as long as dv equals g prime of x dx can be readily integrated to give v and in uh, our case basically we chose u to be x so when you did du uh, that becomes basically dx so this becomes simpler right now so the derivative is simpler than we started and the dv this equals to well, sine of x dx 
and we can easily integrate to get uh, v which is equals to uh, negative cosine of x so again that's the idea is to choose something where you become simpler as long as we can find the integral of uh, dv anyways it's all for today hopefully you'll learn from this video like always uh, you could download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution